Now this is my uh, other instructional video, the other part of my Edison Diamond Disc video. This is how to care for and safely clean Edison Blue Amber Rolls. Now most of the Blue Amber Roll records came with a plaster core which kind of over time swells so if you want to start collecting Blue Amber Rolls it's a good idea to get you a record reamer and you can usually buy these on eBay which I bought mine on eBay for like $30 to $40 and it's the best investment that I have ever made. When you ream out your record, you just put it on the reamer and you want to go in a circular motion, turning your record as you do it. Now it's a good idea, I like to take like a soft cloth, like a handkerchief, and hold the record so that I don't scratch it or get any excess fingerprints on it. And just kind of move it around, just keep going in this motion all the way around as you move forward just until the reamer starts to come out the other end. At that point you want to take it and put it on your mandrel to see if it's going to go all the way on and you want the edge of the mandrel to come out so it's just about flush with the end of the record. A little bit, you can put it on a little bit farther than that if you want to. Um, all you need to do is just keep doing that and if you don't have a spare mandrel to check, you just keep putting it on there and checking it off and keep reaming it out until you get the fit that you desire. Now what I like to do during reamings is I like to take like a can of just like dust remover dust spray and I like to spray out after I ream and spray off the surface for any contaminants that might have gotten on there and then put it on and off the mandrel that way it keeps all the the dust and all the plaster from getting down in your feed screw and in the gears of your player. Now if you have the the flat type amber oil cylinders those probably will not need reamed out I have yet to come across one in my collecting days that I've ever had to ream. So what you after you ream it and you want to clean it um, you can do the same thing with diamond discs um, that you did with diamond discs. You can take the cloth pads, just put a little bit of alcohol on them, get them fairly wet. I just like to hold it by the edges and I like to lightly go across the grooves just holding the record at both ends, just turning the record like so and then go in, go in a circular motion and follow the grooves and you turn your pad over until your pad comes clean and depending on how old the cylinder is or the storage conditions there may be mold spots or something that you cannot remove but this should greatly enhance the playing quality of your record minus any scratches or chip flakes on the playing surface or whatnot. Then once you think once your cotton pad comes clean I do again like take a soft cloth with some household dust spray and just lightly hold the record and just turn it in there and then once, you're, once you've done that, kind of inspect the record. And if you're pleased with the record, you can put it back in its sleeve. Or one thing that I have done that's um, kind of a cheap and inexpensive way for those of you that you know have a lot of cylinders that don't have the uh, cardboard sleeves, um, you can order them online uh, from ShenandoahRestoration.com. Um, that's where I've gotten some of mine. They come with the tops and the bottoms. Um, or you can just take, I had a long piece of flannel cloth and all I did was just cut it into strips. And all you want to do is just take the record, roll it up, and you want to take a rubber band, put a rubber band here and a rubber band here, and you have a nice, safe, inexpensive way to store your amber roll records to help keep them from getting scratched. So I hope that helped you, and I welcome your questions and comments.